I'm back. I feel like I've been gone forever, but really I just missed a Sunday and I'm uploading on a day that I normally don't upload because I wanted to update up upload update i wanted to update you guys on what i've been doing around the house this door frame behind me is driving me crazy i'm looking at myself in the frame and it, it just looks ridiculous just like when you take a picture of someone you don't want a tree or a light post to be behind their head yeah that's how i feel right now but i'm trying to work with the new lighting in my house and i am not succeeding right now it's so difficult to set this up i need someone professionally to like come do this for me and be like put your camera here and sit here it's a work in progress but bear with me guys so basically what i'm trying to get at in this very long drawn out intro of nothingness is i am doing a haul today of different home decor pieces that i've picked up over well over the weekend but also this is stuff i didn't show you in the apartment even a ton of stuff that you guys have not officially seen a couple things have been on snapchat otherwise it's brand new to your eyes i meant to put something on top of the mantle we don't have that all figured out yet but it looks so empty right now oh my gosh i'm so sorry guys it's so boring right now let's start out with michael's i don't know if you guys saw this video but i did the diamond dots product review this was the only thing that i went to the store to buy and then i came back with well two more of these containers but I ordered four more and they just came in the mail. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to do a haul. These were already 40% off, so you can't use a coupon on them. It's a latch mate with tray. It's the mint color. Normally what I do is I'll go to a store and I'll see one or two containers that I really like. And then I'll buy them on a whim. And I'll come home and I'll have all these mismatching containers everywhere. Now I'm not going to get rid of all my mismatching containers. But I just wanted these to display in the closet. Even though, you know, a closet's normally closed and people don't go in there i see it when i go in to get my supplies so i want it to look nice ish i know i'm starting off a home decor haul with the only organization item that i have oops cannot get over a store frame now i'm in between two doors i don't know the container has a latch on each side and then it has this handle here the lid is tinted mint but it's also see-through these do come in three different colors there's a really pretty pastel pink as well as white. The containers can be used with or without the storage tray. It just pops right out and then you're left with this. The tray has a little bit of separation. There's a long compartment and then these three smaller ones. In my opinion, not the easiest to open and close, but not terrible. Just gotta work with it a little bit. And they do stack nicely, see? Next is a big piece of wall art that I actually never put up in my apartment. Here it is. If any of you guys are familiar with the downtown Tulsa skyline, Tulsa, Oklahoma, that's what this is. I bought it from a really cool Etsy shop. I'll link it below when I find it. I forget exactly the name of it now because I bought this, I want to say back in the summer of last year or maybe fall. It just came as a print and then I picked out the frame at Michael's. It got a little scuffed in the move so I'm going to have to touch it up or something but I don't know what happened there. I miss Tulsa so much and I just really wanted to have this here so it reminds me of all the good memories I had there and the warm weather because it's so cold in Ohio except for now I'm so excited we are finally in spring finally and we kind of skipped spring this year and have gone directly to summer because it's basically 80 degrees Fahrenheit here today and I love it I feel the happiest when I can wear short sleeves or tank tops and shorts I'm just in my element when I don't have to have a sweatshirt on or jeans and just feel so like confined and bleh. I know some of you are probably the complete opposite and you hate hot weather or warm weather and you'd rather just live in jeans and a hoodie all year. If you're not living in Ohio, you should be because we basically get like three months of warm weather and we just bought a house here. I mean, there's so many good aspects of Toledo, but winter is not one of them. If you happen to have a good eye and you saw this tag, yeah, we have not taken the tags off the new pillows yet. Before that, here's a couple of birthday gifts I got. My birthday was February 3rd. 13th. My fiance Craig got this for me. It's a little decor piece from Target. Gold lips on a white canvas and it's kind of sitting inside a gold frame or shadow box, whatever you want to call it. I like that there's this little gap around. It's a cool piece. And then my friend Kim got me these macaron erasers. There's a gradient from a dark teal to a salmon pink. I'm including these in a decor haul because I haven't decided yet if I'm going to display them in some sort of tray in my filming room. I mean, they're so cute. Look at this. I'm 100% positive that I did show this on Snapchat at least once over the past couple months. 
or whenever we got it. It's an adorable wooden kiwi. It's so smooth, it does have golden feet and a beak, which are metal. I really like the contrast between the two different materials and just him in general, he's so cute. We almost ended up getting two so we could set one like this and then one sitting down, but we ended up with just this guy. And I think it's pretty cool where we have him right now. We have him next to our giant tree and a bird cage. And then on the shelf below him is a cat looking for a bird. He's out of danger because the cat does not know he's up there. So that's the story behind that right now. But this bookshelf in general, we want to get a ton of hardcover vintage books. And I know that I can buy them from Etsy and eBay. But personally, I think the whole fun of filling this bookshelf is going to be finding the books myself by going around to different estates state sales and neighborhood block sales, garage sales, yard sales, rummage sales. Those are all different names for the same thing. I know people live in different parts of the country and the world and you might call them different things. I thought that way there'd be more of a backstory and a little bit more personality in this shelf and in the house in general. So when people come over, I'm not just like, oh yeah, I ordered them. I also may go to some used bookstores, but again, I'll be shopping in person and like looking through and picking out the perfect colors. Now I have these two ceramic cactus decor pieces. I believe this one is from Walmart. I think so. This one they had at a few different places. I think they had one at Francesca's, but I may have ended up getting it from Wayfair. I'm not sure. If you guys want to search it, it's Creative Co-op brand. I might get a fake yellow flower, just a big poofy one to put on here and make it look like it's blooming. And this one is JT Rose, by the way, which they did have two different styles. Yay, it's not so boring behind me anymore. So that thing hanging up the yellow band with the black handle, that is for working out. It is for arm workouts, faux pull-ups and chin-ups, basically. I won't be ripped enough to do real ones for a very long time, I think. It took me basically four months to be able to comfortably do push-ups and have the correct form. When I first started the P90X3 workouts with Craig in January, and no, this is not sponsored. I got it for him for Christmas one year because he wanted to start getting back in shape again. And I absolutely need to tone and bulk up a little bit. My arms are still looking like spaghetti. It's just not a good look, not because I am a very slim person, but because I was just kind of sitting around not taking care of myself. And I think that it's really, really, really important. I try to work out now six days a week for 30 minutes a day which if you guys can only do 10 minutes a day or 15 or 20 do that seriously it's so so good for you and I feel so much better physically and mentally and I'm taking so much better care of myself in terms of what I eat as well I'm eating a lot more fresh fruits and vegetables and I'm making an effort to cook things that are fresh instead of like eating cookies for breakfast for those of you who have been here with me for a while and you're still watching this video you haven't clicked off yet I just want you you guys to know that I am not neglecting my channel or anything I know that I've been really sporadic with all these uploading days and I'm trying to get on schedule and it just seems like I'm never there and I always have something come up there had been a lot going on in my life I wasn't very happy in our apartment the past like year and then with the YouTube views and everything it was just a lot to take in at once and try and overcome everything just felt like a mess there in terms of like I had so much stuff and nowhere to store it and I was too cheap to get a storage unit and store things there because it, it just like was a waste of money to me I'd rather just like have everything cluttered and look at it and save money than you know anyway I know I'm rambling now I just want you guys to know that I am so much happier here just moving has made me a thousand times happier and more motivated to do things but now the problem is all I want to do is like decorate this house so I'm gonna have to incorporate that on my channel more there's just been a lot going on with this I'm still unpacking I'm still trying to find decor pieces so I hope you guys bear with me but anyway here is a piece that we had in the apartment and I don't think I ever showed you guys so this is just a tray that we keep out on the ottoman. And you guys know that this is basically one of my favorite colors in the entire world. Any shade of a light blue, turquoise to mint, like that whole range of colors is my absolute favorite. So I always try to sneak this in any way I can. I believe this was from Macy's. This piece here I thought was so unique. I found this when Craig and I went to Boyne, Michigan for our ski trip this winter and 
oh my gosh it's so beautiful i'm gonna zoom in on this so you guys can see the different shimmery colors i don't know if the metallic will show up very well on camera this is a piece of copper with colorful stone and then resin on top to seal everything in this was created by alex and becky Tiselski. a state of copper it looks like is their brand and if you guys want to look that up i'm sure that they probably sell these online i'm living in toledo my entire life basically I've always, you know, seen pictures of the Great Lakes everywhere because we're so close to them. And I've been out to Putin Bay, just something close to my heart like the tall salon. Next, I'm going to show you these pillows. I got these from three different places. There's six total. So this is a really pretty blend of kind of a really light grayish blue, I guess I want to say. It's like a dull gray turquoise and it has almost like a weathered rustic look if that's possible with threads it's almost like tree bark even i don't know exactly how to explain it but this one is from pier one i've had this tan couch for about three years now it's actually the third place that it's been to as well i've moved three times in the past three and a half years or something like that. I think we're gonna stay put here for a while though. Also, I don't think I mentioned this at the beginning, but if you haven't seen my empty house tour, I will link that below and in the iCard as well. I know that this video is probably so long and all over the place. I don't know, I just feel like talking to you guys. Our couch had the most boring pillows over these past three years. We just kept the ones that came with them. They were the same color of fabric as the couch and then they had these kind of autumn-y colors on them as well in a pattern. Anyway, I was just over them and we needed some more color in our living room here. So we're going with a light turquoisey and teal color scheme as well as light tan, goldish, yeah. So this is a teal one and it was $25. And then this is the third one that we ended up getting from Pier 1 Imports. It is the most expensive. Actually, how much was this? Yeah, we're never laying on these pillows. <laughs> these are just for decoration strictly. The first light blue one was 30 and this one was 40 so we just dropped 100 bucks on pillows that's just these three i know that i could have gotten them cheaper from places like target or i don't know kohl's but i really liked these they were calling to me i knew i wanted to bring in some texture and patterns as well as solid colored pillows and just really mix and match them so this one actually has raised dots it's fun to run your fingers along actually it feels cool this one is from art van furniture which is out in the Spring Meadows Shopping Center, if any of you guys are from the Toledo, Ohio area or anywhere around there. Then there's another place in that shopping center just across the street called Furniture Row, and there's a ton of different furniture stores there. So this is from that place. One side is a turquoisey color with tan loop-de-loops, and it's actually called the loop-de-loop pillow. And then the back is just a boring like burlap color, but it is reversible, so if we did want that, for any reason then we have it and the final one which is actually the least expensive out of all of them but it's the softest and probably my favorite color out of everything this one's also from furniture row it's so nice the throw is also part of the haul this was from furniture row as well and instead of just having all brown or tan on the back of the couch i thought the blue pop of color would just make the couch look nicer no more dull and boring now the final things and i'm actually most excited probably for the thing that i'm saving last and it's probably in the thumbnail so you already know what it is but you guys get to see it up close now so anyway, from Joanne Fabric, I got these three towels for the kitchen. They're really pretty and very summery. I know one was on Mega Clearance. One was like $4. They're originally all 10, but I got the other two for 40% off, I believe, or like 30% off my entire purchase. Anyway, I know I got deals on these. These two here, if you guys do end up getting these, because they probably do still have some. They're not very soft. They're more for looks, but this one actually feels like a soft beach towel so this is the one I always go for when I pick them out in person and I do like that there's trim at the bottom of all these this one has kind of tassely palms tassel palms <laughs> that seems to be a common trend amongst the store decor pieces this season I don't know I mean I guess I didn't pay too much attention in the years past but normally I just haven't seen a ton of this trim okay guys so now it's time for the hedgehog look how cute this guy is He's from Joanne Fabric. 
He has my favorite color book that he's reading and he has this magnifying glass that kind of looks like a bubble wand, but oh my gosh, he's so cute. And I got him, I believe, for 60% off. He was originally $29.99. I don't know if he's still in stock, but oh my gosh, he's so cool. He's gonna go out in our yard. Ah! <laughs> Craig is not a huge fan of this hedgehog, but I am. Oh my gosh. I would extremely appreciate any of your tips on items that would look good in my house. So if you know of a certain like wall art piece or something that would go on my bookshelf well, leave a comment below. If you want to direct me to a Pinterest board or someone's video like Mr. Kate, because I probably need to binge her videos. A ton of you guys were saying that she should make over my house and like if you guys commented that to her, I would love it. She and I actually did a panel together at VidCon last year, I think it was she's so sweet I bought her book like two years ago like I like her a lot she is killing it on YouTube right now but anyway two bullet journal videos are gonna be coming up at the end of this week and next week I'm gonna try and do some home decor stuff if that's what you guys want to see so leave requests in the comment section below of what videos I should post I am going to LA in just a couple weeks so I can't do anything too crazy right now but if you guys have some simpler ideas for me that don't take like 20 hours to film please leave your suggestions below and I do hope to see you back here in my next videos. Bye. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. See you soon.